Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the Church of Infinite Spirit, a place we come to be inspired, be connected, and be transformed. I am Reverend Margaret Johnson, and I am so delighted to be hosting this online mid-month uh, service. Great to see you guys out there. Thanks so much for being here with me. Just a couple of things about Zoom. I'm pretty sure everybody's pretty used to Zoom by now in our new life, but uh, you do have Zoom options. I've muted everybody for today's service, um, but you can certainly say hello via chat if you would like. You can also change your speaker view uh, to see everyone versus just seeing me. And of course, you can take yourself on and off video with your cursor in the lower left hand part of that Zoom box. So a little Zoom tutorial. Uh, just a little bit about our church. The mission of our church is to support spiritual freedom by helping people understand who they are and experience who they are as spiritual beings. And as part of the consciousness, the all one consciousness that has created this universe, we support people in the joyous transformation that occurs when we wake up to who we are as a spiritual being. We are a non traditional church. Um, we are not dogmatic. Uh, it's not about me telling you what to think or what to feel or what to believe. Uh, but we are a place, again, that our intention is to inspire. So my words today are uh, set at that intention and certainly take what works for you and let go of the rest. All right. Oh, and just a note before we begin, um, uh, my household is full. So you, um, I've done my best to kind of quiet the, uh, the outer forces as they were, but if you hear things, uh, it is a household that is full and we might or might not be interrupted. All right, thanks so much for, for your understanding there. So today's topic is, where is your resource? So before we delve into that, let's go ahead and meditate. Take the moment to come into the inner landscape. Meditation is a foundation of our church and our teachings and the ability to quiet and come inside to get to know ourselves as spiritual beings. So I'm going to lead you guys through a four step meditation. So go ahead and close your eyes if you feel comfortable, really helpful to close your eyes. Even the act of closing our eyes is a form of meditation. Taking a break from all that stimulus outside of ourselves. Just take a big deep breath with your body. Great. So the first step of this meditation is what we call grounding. And I want you to use your imagination. Just play a little bit. Mm -hmm. and imagine a beam of light, any color, not black or white, but a color that you like. This beam of colored light beginning to grow from your tailbone, the base of your spine, place if you had a tail where it would be and let that beam of colored light grow through the chair or whatever you're sitting on through the floor let it with your imagination grow through all the layers of the earth until it reaches the center of the earth This beam of colored light is what we call a grounding cord. It's a connection between the base of your spine or your first chakra 
to the center of the earth. And it serves us in two ways. It helps us center, center in the body. Our energies are pretty capable. We can scatter ourselves over time and over space. We can energetically, our focus can be in more than one place. So when we ground, it allows us to come back home, if you will, come back into the body. And the grounding cord also serves to release any energy that doesn't serve us. So any stress, worry, fear, anything that we are carrying that doesn't belong to us or is no longer in present time, we can just let it go down that grounding cord. And the pretty amazing thing is that grounding cord starts releasing the minute you create it. So if you're aware of things that you'd like to let go of today, you can send them down that grounding cord and you can know that that cord is releasing even if you don't know what's going down that cord. Notice your body with this grounding cord. Perhaps it feels a little more solid in the chair, a little more relaxed. Next, I want you to bring your awareness behind your eyes in the very center of your head. This is the sixth chakra, number six. And by putting our focus here, we activate it, we open it up. And this energy center is a place where you can have a different experience of yourself and your world. The sixth chakra allows us to see with more neutrality, more validation, see ourselves and the rest of the world. It's a pretty amazing place to put your attention. So just put your attention there. You might have thoughts coming in. That's okay. Just let them flow out as easily as they might have come in. Most of us might tend to see ourselves and our world through filters filters of lack or filters of um, fear or judgment. And the sixth chakra space allows us to be in a place of neutrality and validation. Mm -hmm. so just notice your experience here. Next, I want you to say hello to the bubble of energy around your body. This is what we call the aura. It's your energy. It's a bubble of energy about an arm's length out in all directions. It's oval shaped, kind of like an Easter egg. And I want you just using your imagination to coat that bubble of energy a color, maybe a different color than your grounding cord. Maybe a nice blue or an easy pink or a happy yellow. And by doing this, by coating the outside of our aura a color, we delineate what belongs to us versus what belongs to the rest of the world. There's a lot of energy out in the, in the rest of the world, and it is refreshing energetically just to understand what belongs to us. What's inside our aura, our bodies, is our inner landscape. We have the ability to manage, to control what, what experiences we want in here. As much as me, we might 
pursue or try to change what's happening on the outside of our world, uh, it's not possible. <laughs> but what is possible is changing and shifting and managing and deciding what we want to carry on the inside. Great, so you're sitting in your chair, you have this grounding cord, this connection from the first chakra to the center of the earth. Your awareness is behind your eyes in the very center of your head. And you have your bubble of energy, your aura bubble, painted a color. Just notice your experience of you, how it might have shifted from the beginning of our time together. And let's create a big gold sun above our head. Big, huge gold sun. And let's write the word amusement on the outside of that gold sun so that the energy that's in that sun is set at the vibration of amusement. And with your imagination, see that gold sun huge and heavy above your head and pop it. Go ahead and pop it and sit under the shower of energy coming in, filling up your body, spilling over into your aura, this vibration of amusement. Great job. Take a big deep breath. Just notice what you notice about your inner landscape. What is it like to have more amusement? Amusement, a lightness, an energy that's helpful to have as we explore ourselves, transform ourselves. When we come into uh, the journey of spiritual awareness, it's really helpful to come with amusement versus being super serious. Great job, everybody. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes and stretch. Oh, it's good to stretch. Great. So the topic, where is your resource? So clearly over the past couple months, uh, there has been very, very large disruptions in resources, <laughs> including TP, at the, especially at the beginning of our COVID adventure. Um, cleaners, I, I do love my seventh generation uh, plant-based surface cleaner that is uh, disinfectant. I don't know if I'll ever be able to buy that again. I miss it a lot. Um, clearly, of course, huge uh, and, and very challenging disruptions financially. Uh, and other types of resources too have been disrupted. Our ability to hang out with friends or see members of family face-to-face, uh, -face, give them a hug, going out to eat, uh, something I really enjoy, uh, that resource uh, is extremely limited, if not uh, impossible at the moment. Going to get a haircut. Who would have thought how much uh, we miss that? At least I do. My hair uh, is, is getting really long. It's kind of like everything. All of our resources have gone through this giant sifter. And a lot has changed or are dropped away. So clearly this time has shaken both our perspective and our experience of resource. So since we're probably all a little shaken up, let's take the opportunity to really look into where can we find our resource. It's interesting 
with all of these changes that we have an opportunity to kind of really become aware, uh, maybe like super aware of where we were looking to the outside world to give ourselves a sense of validation or a sense of worth. As the outer resources, outer world has shifted so much, we might be able to see where we were relying on those outside forces uh, to, for a sense of validation, for a sense of our own resource. We can find perhaps where we were doing first rather than being. Our, maybe a part of our internal sense of validation was coming from our work. It's coming from our family or our role as mother, father, or caregiver. Maybe it was coming from how many followers we had on Instagram or how much we were doing in a day, how productive we could be, or perhaps a relationship. When we tie ourselves, our internal sense of validation or okayness to something on the outside, we give our power to that thing. And that thing begins, or, or person, that experience or person can then have control over us. We go to work, we have a, a good day, we feel good. Go to work, have a bad day, we feel bad. So now more than ever in this current COVID adventure, so much has changed on the outside that perhaps you might become aware of where you used to identify or look for validation or resource in terms of your okayness on the outside. And I would say that that is an opportunity to resource, to resource. When we focus inward, and we say hello to who we are as a spiritual being, that opportunity can change how we experience ourselves, our validation, and where we get our okayness from. When we turn inward and say hello to the concept of, hey, I'm a spiritual being, on a physical journey, and it's quite an adventure, our perspective can change in terms of our understanding of who we are and what our value is. When we say yes to our spirit, we can take back our control from those outer places we might have put it and really engage with our ability to manage and know ourselves in a vast, vast way. You are a spirit in a body. You're an infinite being of light. You are whole and of the whole. You are a unique and integral part of the energy that created this universe. Wow. You are an infinite resource. Often when we teach uh, classes, we use this example of a snow globe. You know, that all of us are like a snow globe. And the figure in the middle of the snow globe uh, is the essence of you, that vastness, that spirit, that infinite, powerful part of you. And the snow is all the interference. It's all the stuff that we pick up from our experiences, uh, from the ideas that people give us about ourselves, 
and that snow can really collect. So it gets really hard to see and connect to the source of who we really are. We get disconnected. We kind of get frozen out, if you will, blizzarded out. But when we turn inward and we ground, we create a way to release snow. These beliefs, these experiences, these thoughts that aren't really the truth of who we are. Then we can see and connect to that figure in the middle of the globe, little by little, inch by inch, step by step. And we can begin to know that energy as our resource. It's such an interesting journey, especially now, but it's always an interesting journey being human, being a spirit in a body. It's, of course, the human part of our journey. Uh, we look outward and there's so much happening and there's so much uh, uncertainty and doubt and challenge. And when we look to the resource of our own spiritual awareness and experience, we can at any time close our eyes and go inward to say hello to that. We can be in the human experience, but not be of it. We can have a framework that's so large, so vast, and that framework is all it is, is saying yes, yes to who we are as spiritual beings. And it doesn't mean we have to know everything about the universe and how it all works. And uh, it's really about saying yes to this concept of I am a spirit in a body. I am an infinite energy of light. So how do we do that? Well, one way that we love around here is through meditation. So let's go back into meditation and explore your resource, who you are as that spiritual being. So please go ahead and close your eyes. Take another big deep breath. Come back into the center of your head, behind your eyes, in between your ears. Notice you're grounded. Snow is leaving your snow globe and you don't even have to know what variety snow it is. But it's snow that represents energy, beliefs, patterns that aren't you, that don't serve you. Be in the center of your head and notice, have you been giving your power away to something or someone on the outside? Have you been relying on that experience or person outside of you for your okayness, for your validation? If so, not a problem. It's very compelling. It's so easy to do. But you could just imagine letting go of that attachment, sending that down the grounding cord. It doesn't mean the things that we create for ourselves on the outside are bad or wrong. But when we become attached to them in a way looking for okayness within ourselves, that creates ultimately a loss of control, a giving away of our spiritual power. So just imagine if that kind of attachment is happening with you you just let that go. 
And let it flow down that grounding cord. And from the center of your head, if you want to, you can choose to resource by saying yes, yes to you as a spiritual being. Just saying yes to that exploration of getting to know the center of your snow globe, becoming aware of it, and from time to time experiencing it. so that this becomes your resource. This becomes your framework, your fuel. This resource can never run out. It can never have disruption of supply. It can never be taken away by something or someone. This is infinite. This is vast. And it's always here. So just say hello to yourself in the center of your head. And if you would like, say yes. Say yes to you. This doesn't mean that you are perfect. There is no perfection. All this is is an opening, the opening of a doorway to more experience of you as a spiritual being. This is you saying yes to you this infinite part of you that most of the time we're not aware of. However, any time we can come into the center of head and say hello. Great. Using your imagination, I want you to imagine sending a hello to source energy, center of the universe, God, spirit with a capital S, whatever word or phrase you're most comfortable with. Just send a hello there. We are all connected because the essence of who we are comes from that source. That source is always there. In my world, that source is saying yes. 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 Just notice if you get a yes or whatever you get in response to your hello. And finally, I want you to imagine a column of golden light above your head. It's big. It's a column that's so big, it'll be able to slip over your physical body. This column of light representing you, the infinite you. And as you're comfortable, I want you to imagine bringing in that column of light, letting it begin to envelop your head, your shoulders. Let it just move down so that your body is sitting in that column of light. resource of you, surrounding you, 
reminding you of your true nature, who you are as a spiritual being. Let this golden column of light absorb into your body, into your aura, filling you up with your own resource. job, everybody. Just take a few more seconds to be here in the center of your head, surrounded by your own resource, your own power, your own light. Take a big deep breath. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. If it feels good to stretch, you can stretch. Wow. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time and attention. Speaking of resources, those are incredibly val valuable, and I really, really am honored that you shared them with me today. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you are so inspired, uh, we, as you know, are a nonprofit and appreciate all donations. You can go to our website, interconnection.org, all one word. Uh, check out the sanctuary page. There's a donate button there. And also, if you're new to us, uh, new to meditation, or uh, want to kind of enjoy the tools of meditation that we teach here, uh, please check out our free Meditation for Living series. Uh, it's uh, changed my life completely. These tools are simple. They're very simple, and they're extraordinarily powerful. So uh, check those out. And uh, just know I'm sending you a big hello uh, and I wish you well on the journey as Sadie is now dreaming. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that is my sweet dog Sadie having a wonderful dream of perhaps her vastness um, with, with lots of fields and bunnies to chase. All right, everybody. Uh, Look forward to seeing you again soon. I'm so happy that we have this platform to connect with one another and uh, look for other activities and, and um, events that we're hosting. And I wish you all a really happy and powerful day as you connect to your resource, your resource to you. All right, be well, everybody. Thanks again. Bye.